Hello children and happy Thursday. Good to see you. Welcome to Bible at Bedtime. And we've been thinking about how Jesus welcomes people. So I'm just wondering what we've got on the train here today. Here it comes, I think. Ooh, the leaves on the line. We've got a sheep, a rather magnificent looking beast, isn't he, with his horns? But the sheep, and we're going to hear about a sheep in today's story, and more importantly, we're going to hear about the shepherd. Now, in the land where Jesus lived, shepherds had a hard life. Every day they had to wander far and wide, looking for enough grass for the sheep. Streams soon dried up in the hot sun and the shepherd must find running water for them to drink. Sometimes a shepherd would risk his life rescuing a sheep that fell over the cliffs or into ravines or driving off wild animals that attacked his flock. Do you remember that King David had once been a shepherd when he was a boy? And God's care for him reminded David of the way in which he looked after his sheep. He said, God is my shepherd. I have everything I need. Now, Jeremiah and Ezekiel had compared the leaders of the nation to shepherds, but often they ill-treated and neglected their sheep, unlike true shepherds. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. I am willing to give my life for my sheep. A true shepherd is very different from one who's hired to help, but doesn't really care about the flock. He soon runs off, he sees a wolf coming. But the shepherd who loves his sheep will risk his life to save them. I am going to give my life for my sheep, said Jesus. And my sheep are the people who know me and listen to my call. I know every one of my sheep and no one can snatch them away from my loving care. My sheep recognise my voice and they come when I call. Jesus had come not only as the shepherd of Israel, he was going to be the shepherd of all sheep everywhere. I have many other sheep, Jesus said, who don't belong to God's fold yet, but I'm going to call them too. They will follow me and become part of my one big flock and I shall be the loving shepherd of them all. Isn't that lovely? We're not on our own, boys and girls. If we belong to Jesus, he is our shepherd and he's our good shepherd. And I've got a picture here of a little lost sheep and a good shepherd who's come to rescue him. If you look, you can see that he's fallen down a bit of a, a cliff, I suppose. And he's landed there and there's nothing he can do. He's got to be rescued. So along comes the shepherd with his special crook and he can use that to wake the little sheep out of trouble. And Jesus will look after us when we're in trouble too. And he will make sure we've got all we need. Just like sheep need fresh grass and fresh water every day, Jesus will look after us. So thank you very much for listening. We're just going to say a prayer, so hands together and eyes closed. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Jesus, who is the good shepherd. We thank you that he gave up his life for his sheep. And we thank you, Lord, that if we are his, then all we need to do is follow him and listen to his voice. So we thank you for Jesus, the good shepherd. Amen. And we do the blessing. Love, love. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you safe. And the Lord give you his peace. Till we meet again. Amen. I'll see you again tomorrow. And we'll say bye-bye to the sheep as well. Bye-bye, little sheep. Don't go wandering off.